Hey what's up people Martin Unix here and uh, today I'm going to bring you another educative episode. I hope you like it guys. Today I'm going to show you how you can pair a lock knot bang with a lock petals bang to bring out an ultimate look. So like my work guys comment and share. Welcome guys. Remember I'm going to spice this up with some color. You'll like it. It will be wow. Hey, welcome guys. Today I'm going to use the hand to secure my petals. I'm not going to use the rubber bands, but in the same way I'm going to show you how to use the rubber bands. So I'm going to secure a high ponytail using yarn. So you secure the bottom and remember it's a high ponytail guys so now guys we are going to spice or else we are going to splash some maroon color on them lock stones just a few of them So remember guys, just to avoid messing up with your glands, you make up with a torch here and apply it again. You need to, to put on some protective gears. So I'm going to pick some few strands from the ponytail section, randomly. Remember we are not going doing color on all the strands. We just splashing some some color just to add flavor on our look. So guys now we are going to start doing the lock petal burn and uh, this is the way to go about it guys. You pick either one strand or two strand. You can also pick three to four according to the hair density. But on my case I'm gonna pick two strands. So you wrap them around your fingers and remember to pick strands which are of the same size wrap them around like this up to the, to the base then you can secure using a rubber band eh? you see guys it's the way to go if you want to use rubber band it's the way to go just secure the bends like this you see But on my case, I'm not, I'm not going to use the rubber bands. I'm going to use yarn to secure the veins. And this is the way to go about it. You need to secure the hands. By 
by applying a knot at the start. So this is the way to go guys. You fold them, create in loops. Then secure the bottom. You see now, the loops which have just created. And you repeat the sequence all through this. So it's simple guys and I hope you have understood the process that is uh, you put your locks in a high ponytail towards the center of the hand then take section of the ponytail and create petals by looping red strands around your fingers then place a rubber band or rails you can place a yarn that is thread in other ones around the veins of the loops so by doing so guys I want to repeat again by doing so you select two strands of blocks close to each other or else you can use only one strand of block or three to four depending on how thick your logs are. Take the hands of your strands, fold them towards the roots, making loops. Fasten the bands of the loops with tiny rubber band or a yarn, like me, that is thread in other ones, then style your your petals to your taste. Please guys support by subscribing, commenting on my work, sharing on your platforms and inviting more friends to subscribe. So now guys I'm gonna put my style into place by managing the longer loops just to give to give my style a touch of style.
so now guys we are going to start doing the, the front part of which I said that we are going to do the block knot bump this is the way to go about it in my case I'm going to pick two strands to do the the bang. Twist them. Then you fold one of the strands. Just put into consideration the the length that you want the bang to be. Just before the high brows and uh, after the hairline so i will start by wrapping the strand around. this is the way to go about it it's very simple guys you pick the, the other strand I'll wrap it pick this one Drop it around up to the end. To the end. Now upon reaching the end, we are going to take the crochet and pull it using crochet. manage this tip I wanna pull it inside there you fold it here then you pull it through Consideration the level of the brows. Wrap it around. So guys, when you talk about bangs, you need to know that uh, bangs are strands or locks of hair that fall over the skull front hairline to cover the forehead. Usually just above the eyebrows, though can range to various lengths. You should hollow it because how far back a bang should start on the forehead. If there is not much space between your brows and uh, hairline start two hinges back to make a smaller forehand appear longer so guys the beauty about uh, bangs is that uh, they minimize the appearance of wrinkles and soften your look thus overlaying a supermodel look You need to know that uh, guys, the uh, protective dread styles for women 
have been extremely popular lately. So pairing these petals up do with a bunch of short thick drains as bangs gives the look a brand new cute perspective. So if you are after a style that will make you look awesome both in a formal and casual setting this mixture of lock knot bun and lock petals bun with some splash of color is what you should wear Please guys support by subscribing, commenting on my work, sharing on your platforms and inviting more friends to subscribe. It's wow guys, this is the final outcome, you can try it out guys, it's a nice style, it brings out joy whenever you walk around, you can try it out guys, remember to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. I hope my information and uh, tutorial has been educative to you. Make sure you share this to your friends. Let them subscribe to my channel. Like my work guys. Comment. Share. Let's meet in the next tutorial. Welcome guys.